hey Mr. Gardeners, I went out and collected some really large leaves for you because I think sometimes at our plant clinics, people ask questions because they're intrigued by these really large leaves and they're interesting. And as a matter of fact, all three of these leaves are very velvety. We call it pubescence when you study your tax taxonomic terms. But let's start first with this weed because I just got a question on it this week. It's finished flowering, very short lived weed. This is called velvet leaf and it has a heart shaped leaf and they're alternating down the stems and it makes a really picturesque little capsule on it with really strong stout uh, little bristles on the rim of it. Maybe you can zoom in and see that pretty little structure. It's actually very decorative when used in um, dried flower arrangements. But a weed, this velvet leaf can get four to seven feet tall. It's an agronomic weed. It's in the cotton family and it's notorious for invading farming fields. And I get it here in my local area in my, in my garden beds and all. But a very velvety leaf. In the original days, they had hoped it would become a, a source of fiber that they could make ropes from and different canvases and things, of course, during the shipping trade when that was really common. So this is a common weed that's not, that's not invited and not wanted, but in case, well, I'll give you a little fact on that later on. So another weed that we see on our roadsides with these huge elephant shies foliage, this is our polonia. And I've done another video on polonia when it was in full bloom on the roadsides. Right now it's already going into seed, big velvet heart-shaped leaf. It's in seed pod now. Let me find my pods. Oh, they're not all here, but here's the beginning of the little pods starting to form on the tips. They're kind of fun to play with like little castaneas. This is oppositely arranged on the stem. That'll be one of your key characteristics because I'm going to show you a catalpa and the catalpa is kind of a little bit harder to identify, but it'll be whirled some of the time. It's opposite and world, whereas polonia is opposite all the time. Velvety heart shaped leaves that are entire. Here's a traditional shape leaf. There it is, there's the standard size. But sometimes plants in a juvenile form will make these exorbitantly large ones. So this is also a polonia, but look how much larger the leaf is. Pretty velvety foliage. Now let me show you the catalpa, which is one you could confuse it with. I think I have a really large catalpa leaf, maybe not. Here's a large catalpa leaf. Again, looks just like that polonia, doesn't it? Heart shaped entire margins on the rim of it. But the unique characteristic that can help you some is they are whirled. Look down the stems, you'll see one, two, three leaves. Here on the tip, one, two, three. We call that arrangement whirled. And the catalpa's whirled. The leaf is very confusing with the polonia leaf. And you know, you're probably not gonna see catalpa too frequently. It's a very large tree with a white flower on it and it makes a very long pod. My, um, my husband always called this the cigarette, the cigar tree because it makes these really long pods. And he had had one in his yard as a kid and they had pretended and things, but long, long slender pods and seeds that germinate pretty easily. Same thing with the polonia. That tree, the seeds on that, they say it germinates as quick as a grass seed does. It's such a rapid germinator. So the catalpa tree, makes a huge leaf that you can get confused with. But what you're gonna look for is the world leaf pattern to distinguish it. When you're distinguishing the big polonia, here's the big polonia, and I told you it has elephant sized leaves. What you're gonna look for on the roadsides is this opposite pairing of the foliage. Both of them are very velvety leaves, so that won't confuse you. At this time of the year, it's easy to tell the polonia because it's throwing out these pretty unique little pods on it. So that's easy. And then the other heart shaped one that we covered at first was this velvet leaf weed. This is just an annual, whereas these other trees are woody. And here's your fancy little tip before we close. You could always use this as toilet paper. This is a totally safe leaf. Isn't that an unusual thought? There you go, master gardeners.